Okay, so the Call of Duty Zombies community has had recently a little bit of controversy and considering the fact that back in the day, if you were to go far enough back onto my channel, previous to all of the language learning content I used to do, I did used to do, and um, before the traveling content, I used to do Call of Duty Zombies videos for a very long time, for like a three, four year period, uh, with occasional vlogs and stuff in there, but the majority of my channel was just Call of Duty Zombies content and I can go further down because this is still from Infinite Warfare we go further back then we're in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 which is where the biggest hype was in this time and there are just hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel from when I'm looking at my stupid little uh, thumbnail like poses at the time um, there were just so many videos I did back in the day on Call of Duty Black Ops 3, on Infinite Warfare, and then some of the other COD games as well, but these were really where I was doing a lot of my content. I even made content on Black Ops 2 as well, back back in the day. Um, I've been making Call of Duty Zombies content for a very long time, and I also must apologise, side note, because I'm a little bit ill, so if my voice kind of sounds a little bit off or like whatever, that's why. My throat is just a little bit sore for whatever reason. Um, I feel like I want to talk about this because I did used to be part of the Call of Duty Zombies community. And I just feel like it's something that I know a little bit about in regards to the YouTubers themselves. The situation itself, I don't know like every single nook and cranny of it. But I have watched all of the available videos. And I just wanted to put in my two cents on it, considering that I've now got this channel where I kind of could just can talk about whatever I fancy. And I kind of just wanted to talk about this because I fancy talking about this. So, uh, first things first, we have Mr. Tlex5. We'll talk about this first. So, Mr. Tlex5 is a Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber, 1.56 million subscribers. He is uh, undoubtedly one of the funniest Call of Duty Zombies YouTubers. He has this, um, I don't know, this, like knack to infuse comedic value into a specific game, in this case, Call of Duty Zombies. And it's just worked for him, and that's just been his, uh, I guess, niche for a very, very long time. And um, so, Mr. Tlex5, for around 10 years or so, was good friends with the Smith Plays, aka Pat. So you have Lex and Pat, who uh, pretty much about 10 years ago or so met via Call of Duty Zombies and also via YouTube, and they basically found each other on YouTube uploading content, and they were similar sized channels, and so they were like, yeah, let's become friends, and let's, uh, you know, upload content together. And so over the years, they've made countless videos together. Uh, Pat has also done other games as well like Pokemon as you can see here and there's a whole bunch of other uh, content and videos and stuff that they've made but I mean all the way back in like what must have been like 2012 maybe 2011 around that kind of time I don't know the exact year but Pat and Lex um, you know started becoming good friends especially through YouTube and through Call of Duty Zombies. Pat by the way has 2.84 million subscribers not like it matters but as I already mentioned about Lex's sub count I think it's only fair to kind of talk about all of them. Um, so, with them two being like really good friends, uh, fast forward a little bit, we'll talk about the other two channels coming up, but fast forward a little bit, and we have the situation which I actually had no idea was happening until Lex released this video, because for some reason for the first eight days when my response was released by Pat, which we'll get back into in a minute, um, I for some reason missed this video, I haven't watched the Smith Plays content for quite some time, uh, whereas Lex, I still occasionally watch his videos because I find Lex still entertaining. Um, and so Lex uploads this video called My Ex, and I'm like interested, what is this all about? Like, you can tell by the thumbnail as well that it's kind of like there's something a little bit off, like what is this? It's a 32 minute long video, and I'm not going to play the videos here in this particular video. I'm just going to talk about them, uh, but pretty much... Um, Lex just goes on this, let me mute my desktop audio so there's no, uh, nothing playing. Um, let's proceed with that. And I'll mute that. Um, so, Lex releases this video and this is the first time I hear about it four days ago. So it's, it's still very new for me as well as I'm sure anyone in the zombies community. Uh, especially those who didn't originally watch uh, my response by Pat, which has 372 thousand views 
compared to Lex's 1.4 million views. That's crazy. Uh, so pretty much, so he has allegations and there's uh, little things along here. I can't even remember the name of his ex unless he's got it in here, to be honest, because I didn't know his ex at all. Out of all the five people involved, I know Lex, I know Noah, I know JC Backfire, I know Pat, and I should probably clarify that I don't know them in person or anything. I just know them as a fan watching their YouTube channel because I've been a fan of these guys for a very, very long time. As I say, pretty much the entire time that I've been making Call of Duty Zombies YouTube uh, videos, especially Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos, I've been into these guys. Uh, JC Backfire, I think I got into him a little bit later because I didn't know of his channel until maybe Gorod Crovey came out, which was around 2006. 17 I think or 2016 uh, in the summer of uh, 2016 I think um, so around that kind of time to give you like an idea whereas Noah Lex and Pat I've been a fan of those guys for at least two or three years on top of how much I know of JC Backfire so uh, anyway Lex and his girlfriend were together for a long time from what I can see like at least a few years and then um, you know shit hit the fan and they've broken up but obviously in this like there are allegations right so uh, the allegations are uh, for example Lex's girlfriend calling Lex a pedophile uh, a cheat um, pretty much like all of the things that you can think of which would be bad for someone uh, in a relationship to be called right so obviously you don't want to be labeled a pedophile especially when you're not one you don't want to be labeled as a cheat again especially when you're not one um there are other allegations as well um sexual abuse and you know just all of the all of the things that are just like not particularly uh great to be labeled with and lex makes this video after a while which i should also say he mentioned in this video that he um wait if i go to this bit here it might uh, there's there's a bit in here where it, it will um, say label. There we go. So these are the things. Uh, so what I've just mentioned, plus a few extra things on top, like slurs, etc. So Lex um, also didn't release his video for like a, a good week or so after uh, everyone was expecting him to, because he was in the hospital, according to Lex, uh, due to uh, dealing with a lot of harassment himself and hate from a lot of people, which I assume would. Uh, sent over by his ex-girlfriend because she's also a streamer of some sort um, and he's, Lex has had a lot of people pretty much uh, sending him um, hor horrible messages saying like go kill yourself and you know all of these kind of messages which are just very not very nice um, and I think that's because of his ex-girlfriend and also of the Smith plays with my response um, which pretty much I'll say now like my response is pretty much uh, Pat being uh, a bad friend and going against like that 10 year friendship with him and Lex and Pat pretty much saying that, yeah, Lex is a bad guy. He's, uh, you know, he slept with her underage and all of this um, information, which isn't true. And also he didn't uh, fully listen to uh, Lex's side of the story because Lex's video was released four days ago, whereas Pat's was released 12 days ago. So Pat didn't even have a chance to reply to Lex. Um, well, he didn't have a chance, sorry, to uh, watch Lex's video uh, to then fully get the full scope of things. And I know they're friends, but Lex then sh shows later on in this video uh, somewhere that he sends a, uh, a message to Pat on Twitter. I can't find the exact thing. He sends a message to Pat on Twitter, which uh, pretty much, um, you know, like saying to him, like, oh, I'm going to release this video, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then Pat sees it and doesn't reply to it. So... Yeah, Pat pretty much like knew he's gonna release his video regardless because Lex messaged him before Pat released his video, um, and yeah, Pat. I don't know why he's chosen the thumbnail. By the way, it's kind of like a smiley thumbnail. It's not really the thumbnail you should have with the video that he was talking about in, with what he was talking about in that video. Um, but yeah, pretty much Pat was being um, a little bit simpy for Lex's ex, to be honest. So. Yeah, they go through, Lex pretty much his entire video debunks everything, all of these aforementioned things, and he actually, like, you know, shows that, like, actually his ex-girlfriend was the paedophile because of certain things, and she cheated on Lex with people who were underage, and actually, she's the one who, uh, you know, was doing, like, this and that and the other, and she pretty much was, like, trying to blame all of these bad things onto her then-boyfriend, obviously now ex-boyfriend, Lex, and... 
Lex pretty much was getting like the brunt of it because, you know, unfortunately, like when you have a guy and a girl in a relationship and when the girl says something bad, normally people are going to believe that because women are seen as uh, more vulnerable compared to the guy. Um, but Lex was, he was getting like a lot of hate before he even was able to respond to this. Anyway, he responded to it. As I say, there's all of these things accusations he goes through one by one uh he goes through the cheating accusations and you you can see here as well just how much like how much evidence he has popped up on the screen to back up every single thing that he pretty much says and he pretty much just goes through the majority of this video pretty much just like that um making sure that he can back himself and yeah i mean like his girlfriend lied and so lex is going to defend himself um, which is fair enough and but I was just watching this kind of amazed because I had no idea personally as a fan that any of this was happening um, and then you get to this point in the video where I was kind of tired when I watched it and I've only watched it once but from what I gather you get to this point in the video where Lexton starts to uh, include Noah and also JC Backfire Noah J456 5.19 million subscribers arguably the biggest current Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber, um, not quite as big as uh, Syndicate Project with like a 9 million something, but he stopped playing Zombies uh, consistently a long time ago. And then you have JC Backfire, 309,000 subscribers. Uh, he doesn't currently do Zombies by the looks of it, and I kind of stopped watching him um, when I fell out of Call of Duty Zombies. I only stuck to watching Noah, Lex, and a couple other COD Zombie YouTubers who have kept out of this controversy. Um, but this is JC Backfire anyway, and yeah, the whole thing's kind of a mess. Like, I don't, um, pretty much like Lex was saying, like, oh, Patton is in this video here, um, I can't remember the exact point. He said something that wasn't true, and so Lex brought this video up, and then in the My Response video by The Smith Plays, which is, as I say, uh, a video where he pretty much just simped on Lex's ex, um and you know just threw his best friend of over 10 years under the bus and yeah i mean you can see by the comments as well like she don't want you little bro and like all these other con uh comments which just pretty much like shows that like people just don't want uh they, they don't like the fact that the smith plays kind of <laughs> like this one here like they don't like the fact that the smith plays has thrown his best friend under the bus because people like lex even though uh pat has more subscribers um People really enjoy Lex, like fans of Lex are quite hardcore fans in my opinion and they really like him and his content and I know that shouldn't be a reason to excuse bad behaviour if there was but Lex has got damning evidence uh, for everything and pretty much like showing that he's innocent and like here are some uh, handwritten notes from his ex-girlfriend and if you were to look at, like there are so many, if you were to look at them properly uh, you'll see that she admits to cheating on Lex. She admits to the people that she cheated with uh, being underage. Here's the scumbag uh, ex that he um, was with. And the person, obviously, who's uh, causing all this shit. And also the person who uh, Lex is filing lawsuits against and stuff. And so, yeah, there's that whole thing there as well. Um, but, yeah, even it says here, uh, Reagan, which is her name, admitted she is a dominant woman, meaning that she has always been a predator towards anyone. Um, that's within context of whatever he's talking about at this particular point in this video. Uh, but, yeah, in the comments section at one point on this video, maybe they're being buried underneath all of these comments or I'm not sure. But you had both Noah and uh, JC Backfire responding to Pat's uh, my response and... This is pretty much the whole video, him just talking um, like this. What's this? Uh, so pretty much just like, yeah, I don't know. He obviously Pat knows things. Um, like he know he, he's known Lex for a long time, right? He's known him for ten years. He's gonna know things that like fans aren't gonna know, or whatever. Uh, but he should have waited for Lex to respond properly. He should have, uh, you know engage in conversation with Lex. Here we go. Here's, where is it? Here's the message that Lex sent to Pat. Um, pretty much just saying, um, you know, he's going to release his video. And then it's sent, 
he has seen and Pat didn't bother to reply. So Pat preemptively didn't want to talk to him. He didn't want to, uh, you know, kind of, um, like, I guess talk it out and just, you know, like get the facts straight pretty much. Um, Pat spoke to Lex's ex and decided that, you know, actually this is what I want to believe. And before I'm going to, you know, talk to Lex properly and get everything. Um, yeah, he just made his own mind up. So... As I say, at this point, Lex then brings in Noah and JC Backfire. Um, because Noah and JC Backfire commented on this video here, uh, just for like love hearts or whatever. Um, I think there must have been other reasons as well. Is it around here? Yeah, you can see like that. Oh, on an Instagram post, that might be why I couldn't find it. Um, so in 2021, pretty much Noah, uh, he was married and he cheated on his wife, uh, Martina. Hence why he's also showing us tweet here. Really not okay today. Please send cute funny pics because I'm assuming that's when she found out that her husband cheated on her. Um, I'll be Noah here. And to be honest, like if like out of all the allegations, like, you know, pedophilia and sexual abuse and all that, like... Cheating on your wife is, is definitely a bad thing, but it's certainly not quite the same caliber, in my opinion, as the other allegations. Um, that, you know, that being said, Noah decides to respond to this with this video, which was a live stream, actually, not even a video, it was a live stream. And, um, like, it's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure, like, Noah's kind of putting on, like, a fake trying to cry or trying to sound upset voice um and and also i believe that's the case and it's also quite hard for me to watch this being like a big fan of Noah. i've never really seen Noah in this kind of uh upset point of view before i've always seen him being quite quite a, a like a nice guy quite a good guy like streamer he doesn't even really swear like in the however many years i've been watching him i've seen him swear like twice and that's been in really intense situations uh you know in particular video games which he just really enjoys like i rarely see him swear so he's um quite an innocent guy in that respect but like here it just i don't know like things just seemed really fake and i really hate how he conducted himself here uh first of all he streamed this video which like fair enough because you know when you're streaming something it's just that's it like if you make a mistake if you say the wrong thing like you've done fucked up but he decided to stream it he is a big streamer and pretty much in this video he tackles two allegations one was that he cheated on his wife the other one which is what x uh lex even said as on top of that which was at his dj set because he does occasional djing um he had a guy or a youtuber called mini lad in his private booth uh who is actually i didn't know this but apparently mini lad is like kind of a, a pred so I don't know, it's around here somewhere. I can't find the exact minute because it's like, um, oh wait, what was that? Right, so there's the mini lad thing. Um, mini lad was in those and blah, 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 but he, he apparently invited him in there. I don't know if that's entirely true because Noah then said in his video that he was there without his consent or whatever. Um, I didn't realize that mini lad was a predator. I must have missed that whole controversy. I don't really know mini lad that well. Um, but yeah, there's Noah doing his DJ thing. Um, I can kind of like push this one aside. I don't think necessarily that means anything much. Um, there's a few things there. There was something I just saw. Um, I don't know. It was it was comments somewhere. Um, but anyway, so Noah talks about those two things in this now five minute video, which was originally a 14 minute stream. Um, like I say, it just seems like Noah was faking. It was like. Um, so I, wa I want to talk to you guys today about uh, something terrible that I did. Um, I'm really ashamed of myself. I'm really sorry to you guys to say that. Like, it was just so, like, minimal effort. And for someone who has 5.19 million subscribers, uh, I think actually he had more than that yesterday. I think he had uh, not much more, but, like, I think he was in, like, 5.23 or something. Um so yeah, unfortunately he has lost subscribers as well as I'm sure the Smith plays uh, and Jace. I don't know about JC. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, yeah, Noah really seemed like he was faking it. Comments probably say the same thing. Um, and the thing that I don't fully understand 
uh, first of all, like, if you're sorry, you'd be sorry to your wife, not to your audience. That was one weird thing that, like, just kind of stood out. Um, someone also says, uh, laughing, where is it? Laughing at the end of his apology is diabolical work. This guy's not sorry at all. Uh, I saw this comment yesterday. When I got to the end of the video, he didn't laugh. So I'm imagining that's part of the live stream that he cut out. I didn't see the full live stream. Um, but... Like it, it, like, it just seemed really bizarre the way he, like, conducted himself in this whole video. Like I say, it seems like he was um, faking it. Also, another thing is, like, like if you go back with just one video, uh, like this one where he's reacting to a Call of Duty Black Ops 6 live, uh, like a trailer or whatever. Um, you can see, like, how he's just, like, happy and he's, like, all excited and stuff for the trailer. Um, and obviously this is what he's normally like and he's quite a good streamer in my opinion um, and I just don't think like this happened in 2021 I think if you were really like that sorry you would have talked about it before now or at the very least like I don't know how to like explain this like you're, you're only upset because you got called out by Lex and now you're admitting that this happened you're not actually genuinely upset because you, like between 2021 and now in 2024 you've had like what three years worth of streaming and having fun and like just enjoying yourself and kind of putting that in the back of your head and now let's come to light now you feel upset now you feel sorry it's like why are you even putting on like an upset like persona it would have been in my opinion better to just be like honest just be like look Guys, uh, I'm streaming this video today because I, I did fuck up. Uh, back in 2021, I, I had feelings for this other streamer. I cheated on my wife because the situation really wasn't going that well. And uh, that's just, um, you know, I really fucked up. And at the time, like, blah, 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 like Martina knew about it. You know, whatever. Like, there should have been, like, a bit more of a transparency, I guess, there. Or, like, just being a bit more honest as opposed to, like, again, like I say, like that. Oh, guys, uh, I'm really sorry, um, but it is true, you know, you didn't even say that, actually, I can't remember exactly what he says, but it was the tone of voice in which he was trying to sound upset, and it's like, dude, realistically, you're not going to be, because this happened three years ago, you've had three years to get over the fact that you cheated on your wife, and though sometimes, you know, people can hold things for a long time, I really don't think this is legit, because... You could have spoken about this in a more uh, confident manner and less like faking it. But then I feel like he probably thought he had to fake it in order for at least some people in his audience to feel like he was genuinely sorry. But I don't know why because like it's between him and his ex-wife and um, I don't know. The whole thing is just weird. I don't believe it personally because like I said I just feel like he would um, he wouldn't have been as upset in the video unless he's just upset because he got called out pretty much in the video JC backfire also gets brought up because JC backfire apparently at some event um, was cheating on his girlfriend with her sister I was around here somewhere um, I don't know if I can find the exact screen uh, probably not. There's there's a lot. There, things pop up very quickly. Um, there's another comment that he put. I love you, Pat. But he, here's, here's the other thing with the comments is that JC Backfire Noah never once commented on Lex's videos to kind of help him or make him feel comfort or whatever. Um, yeah, there's something here. Um, that's not your girlfriend. Well, Check on JC and your sister. When I was at Coachella with them, JC was all over your sister and touching her really centrally. Everyone in the group really thought it was weird. And when we all gave JC the that's not your girlfriend look, JC would say, it's my girlfriend's sister, as if it was a valid reason to flirt with her. Um, so I don't know the extent of like whether it was just flirting, whether it was touching, whether it was actual cheating. Not quite sure on that. But they went to Coachella. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can read this here. They pretty much... Uh, this is, I can't remember who, but this is sent to JC's actual girlfriend, I think. But it was like that whole thing, and so JC got brought into the whole um, the whole kerfuffle that's happening right now because, obviously, there was that. And Lex pretty much, I think, at this point, was pissed off at the fact that 
uh, JC had also turned his back on Lex, and so Lex was like, well, fuck you, uh, I'm going to find anything I can, which was this, which doesn't seem, again, like the worst thing, but you still definitely don't want to, you know, be cheating on your girlfriend with anyone, but especially with her sister, I mean, that just seems like the stupidest person to fucking choose out of anyone else to cheat on your girlfriend with, um, uh, Yeah, and then there's some other, like, comments here as well. Um, I think that was all that was with JC. I don't think JC had anything else that was, like, terrible. But then Lex pretty much went on to say that because Noah and because JC defends, like, his ex-girlfriend, um, Reagan, because they defend her, they pretty... And also because they know that she had slept with underage people, they pretty much are defending pedophiles. And so when JC's got this update that he now works for uh, PlayStation Studios as a game designer uh, and working for, with or for Jason Blundell, which is the ex Call of Duty Zombies director, um, pretty much he's just saying like, oh, I'm sure they don't want to have someone who sympathizes with uh, pedophiles working for PlayStation Studios. So this is kind of the point he's making here. And... Yeah, some more comments uh, on that video. So I couldn't find them, even though I guess I'm not subscribed to them on this channel. I guess that's uh, why I couldn't find these comments. Uh, and then he just goes on and talks about like this and how his girlfriend, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, um, I, yeah, I mean, there's a lot more to it as well. Like when when Lex was with her, like, like, the, like she was always constantly asking Lex to lie about her rage for some reason. Uh, other things I don't fully understand, um, and then he goes into, what's all this? Oh yeah, like deleted posts and, um, stuff, but I, I, it looks like Lex is pretty much just like, um, took photos of everything when things happened, and yeah, like, th this is a lot, like, I would honestly, if anyone is even, gen uh, like, even a little bit, like, interested, I would say to watch all of these videos, my ex by... Lex, my response by Smith plays, and also talking by Noah J four five six. JC Backfire has not released a video. Uh, I don't know if he's going to. It just looks like he uploads like Persona or whatever other game, Final Fantasy, whatever, um, with the same <laughs> face in the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, JC hasn't really done much. Uh, JC. Um, Sorry, Noah J has done a live video, which people speculate the live is because it won't get as many views as a normal video. Not quite sure if that's the case, but um, that's what people speculate. Um, so yeah, Noah's video was pretty trash, in my opinion. One of the worst, like, apology videos, if you want to call it that. It should really just be apology for his ex-wife, uh, not for his audience, but I guess he had to address it. This is not even an apology video, it's just him talking about, like, I don't even know, like, it's just Pat talking about Lex's situation with his ex-girlfriend, and I don't know why Pat had to get himself involved, to be honest, until at least after uh, Lex has released his video, so then he can talk about both sides properly, but instead, uh, Lex's ex-girlfriend uh, was like, oh, Pat, uh, this and that and the other... And then Lex, uh, wait, she was like, oh, uh, Lex is this, Lex is that. And he was like, oh, really, baby? Oh, that's terrible. I better release a video outing Lex. In this original video, I think the comments now are like, uh, top five worst friends to have, the Smith players, uh, you know, like blah, blah, blah. But before four days ago, when Lex released this counter video right here, um, the comments were more, um, can we sort by... No, we can't sort by oldest. The comments were more for Pat, I assume, because they didn't know Lex's side at the time. But now, obviously, they know Lex's side. Uh, they completely turned on Pat in this video because Pat pretty much just simped for Lex's ex and lied about pretty much everything there, which is a real shame. Like, as a fan of Mr. T, Lex, Fire, The Smith Plays, Noah J456, and, to a lesser degree, JC Backfire... Uh, it's a real shame to see this happening between all of these YouTubers, especially when Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is being released 
within, I don't even know exactly what month, but within the next month or two. Um, you know, it is currently August and, you know, the new Call of Duty titles are normally released in October or November. And obviously, like you see here, we got the reveal trailer from Noah's reaction. I think there was also another trailer, but because of the beef that's happening here, um, Noah hasn't done a stream reacting to that trailer. Um, so it's kind of bad timing for these COD Zombie YouTubers because they've probably been waiting for a good two or three years for this game to come out, especially like Noah and Lex. And then, they, I don't know, they just decided to kind of drop uh, this kind of bombshell and all of this, um, all of this, like, you know, um, the situation between these guys, uh, I would say, and I'm not quite sure if everything's been outed or whether there's like shit between other COD zombie YouTubers as well. There are, there are a decent amount of other zombie YouTubers who have kind of kept out of this, especially the more popular ones. Uh, Mr. Ruffle Waffles, Mr. Dalit JD, Codename Pizza, just to name a couple. These guys have not said anything about it, which I think is the smartest way to go about it because they either don't have much to say that hasn't already been said, or they just obviously don't want the bad press and so they'd rather just keep out and be neutral in the situation. But like I say, it's a real shame because, um, you know, like these are people I really liked watching. Um, and like just to see everything like fall apart like this, Lex said, in this video that like after being friends with Pat for 10 years um, he can no longer be friends with Pat so these two guys are no longer friends he says he will no longer work with him as in on YouTube to make YouTube videos and that's kind of a real shame especially with like the new Call of Duty title coming out you know very soon it's just a real shame that like these guys won't collaborate together anymore uh, Smith Plays used to do a podcast uh, called the Smith Cross smith squad podcast um which yeah it's like down here and he had like lex in this podcast um a bunch of times as well as um you know whatever else and this was a podcast just talking mostly about uh cod zombies but they were also just life things so here's here's one right here where both of them were uh you know like talking and this was them seven years ago that's actually crazy to think about that but that's them seven years ago and uh this is them now like just kind of arguing against each other it's it's a real shame the way that things have um panned out honestly and i wish it wouldn't have because the zombies community like at, at least at one point during black Ops 3 was like super strong and like everyone was just like really uh i don't know how to like describe it but like pretty much everything was just like friendly there was minimal uh i'm forgetting the word um there was like minimal like arguments and that kind of thing and like sh shit was just going well um and now it's like, I don't know, obviously people grow up, people are just people, something happens and then it's like shit, you know, just hits the fan. Uh, but in this situation, Lex was accused of being uh, this, that and the other from his ex-girlfriend. It's seemingly false from all the proof that Lex has shown in his video. As I say, as I scroll across, you can just see the amount of editing that's gone into this to like put all the overlays on of all the text messages. Um... And like you see here, like all of the different changes of like the, uh, like the constant, uh, like diary entries. So you can really see here, um, like what she's written. I can't even read her handwriting, um, that well, but like, there's just so much in there that he's shown so much proof. Uh, I just think that Lex is telling the truth. Lex is also, uh, where is it? Like Christianity is now, uh, you know, a man of God, which personally I don't believe in religion or anything. But, um, you know, a lot of the time when people are man of God as well, they, you know, they're kind of, uh, how should I say, like more honest, I guess, a lot of time. But sometimes they can use it as well to like, I guess, to their favor to uh, be kind of a worse person. But I think Lex is genuinely, he's gone towards uh, being a um, genuine person. He's gone towards being a Christian again because he wants to be a nicer person. Back in this day, he used to swear so much and he used to just like whatever. And now, like, Lex doesn't swear. Like, so it's same as Noah J456, rarely swears, like, literally almost never. Uh, Lex doesn't swear anymore because he pretty much thinks that, like, you know, like, it's not the done thing. It's not like uh, godlike or whatever to, to constantly swear. So he just, I, to my knowledge, cuts out all swearing and now he's, he's a more like, uh, a calmer person back in this day he was 
a little bit more unhinged, I would say. But he still has that comedic value, just without all the swearing, which is quite interesting to see the 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 transgression uh, or whatever the word is the the thing that um, I forget the word, but you know what I mean anyway. The the transition from uh, like younger Lex who doesn't really care as much to the older Lex. But anyway, I'm really going off topic now. That's pretty much the whole thing I can think of. I There's probably things I've missed out, but that's the down low. Um, Lex was accused of a bunch of shit by his ex-girlfriend. Pat was a simp and decided to believe his ex-girlfriend over his good friend of 10 years. Lex then decides to make this video getting back at him but also at the same time because noah and jc decides to get involved he also decides to uh put a little bit of shade on those two youtubers as well so then because of that uh noah had to respond to this and jc backfires just decided look i'm not gonna respond to that shit like you know you can see the evidence like i'm just not gonna i'm just not gonna say anything so that's the whole situation there it's it's kind of a shame in my point of view because i really enjoy these youtubers and like, I, I hope that shit can kind of settle because I'm not really a big fan of, like, drama. I've never actually covered drama before in a YouTube video. This is the first time I'm covering drama. And it's not really something I want to do often, if at all. Just if I know the YouTubers uh, well enough that I can actually talk about it, then in that case, yeah, maybe I will cover the drama. Especially on this channel where it's kind of just, like, make videos on whatever the fuck I want to make. Um, but, yeah, like, that's pretty much it in regards to, like, everything... Uh, that's happened so far in the zombies community. It's just like a real mixed bag. And like this is all happening at the exact same time. As I said a Black Ops 6 is being released in the next month or two. Also at the same time you've got Mr. Beast situation with uh, Chris Tyson. With them being nonces. Or at least Chris Tyson being a nonce. And Mr. Beast being uh, you know, accused of being in chats and stuff that he shouldn't have been in. Plus Mr. Beast is having all these other wild accusations about being a terrible employee. Uh, or an employer even um, and like all these other like terrible um, situations uh, going on so like at the same time that you got like this YouTuber uh, thing going on with Mr. Beast and whatever you got the whole zombies community now like in a, in a frenzy because of everything that I've just spoken about in this video plus there were like other YouTubers that I can't think of right now who were uh, also just in hot water for one reason or another um, Penguins, for example, Charlie over, um, you know, Moist Critical, him and uh, Sneeko had, like, this fucking debate recently as well, which was a horrible debate to watch, and so that's kind of controversy as well at the moment. And so there's all these things happening right now at the same time, so in the land of YouTube, everything is kind of seeming a little bit uh, in hot water or something. So, um, yeah, that's just uh, my two cents on the whole Call of Duty Zombies um, thing right now. And, uh, yeah, I, that's all I've got to say. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.